So we are standing in our cold laboratory in the British Antarctic Survey. We keep this laboratory at minus 25 degrees and that's because we've got very, very precious ice in here. And we have the ice here to analyse it, to unlock some of those secrets about the climate in the past. So the current oldest ice core that we have goes back 800,000 years and that's a fantastic record but actually we're interested in that period prior to a million years ago because during that time there's evidence to suggest that the ice sheets were actually smaller, sea levels were potentially higher and CO2 similar to today. So it's a really interesting potential analogue for our future climate. So this is a really exciting project to work on because we really are exploring a completely unknown time in our history and what we're hoping is we're going to unlock all these amazing secrets. So in Antarctica, when the snow falls, it doesn't melt, so it accumulates and it forms layer upon layer over millions of years. So what we can do is go and drill down through that ice sheet. So much in the same way as an apple corer, you just core down and retrieve the sections of ice from in between. So what we end up with is cylinders of ice that go all the way down through the ice sheet. And in this case, 2.8 kilometers. So we're really interested in all these important processes that govern how carbon dioxide is exchanged between the atmosphere and the ocean. So we'll be looking at reconstructing past sea ice, for example, and marine productivity. So how much of that is drawn down by marine organisms in the ocean? Looking at the winds and the circulation pattern, that will influence how much CO2 can be released from the ocean. And all of this put together with the new CO2 record that we're going to be analysing in our colleagues labs in Switzerland will really help to provide brand new insight into a time period that we really know very little about.